So let me get this straight, you had a nightmare about Rosie coming back to kill you for what you did over a year ago? It was horrible, that was like a shitload of them, it was like a scene from The Shining. Ooh, The Shining, what a cliche thing to parody at this point, can we parody something else? Someone else's Thomas fan series? You son of a bitch. Now then, Dennis, I think that you should come with us today, because we're doing bugger all, because Batman said so. No, wait, no, he didn't. We just made that up, so. Do you want to go somewhere? Somewhere which isn't here. Okay, Del, I enjoy that brewery. Yeah, but still, why'd you bring me here? Well, let's just say I actually took your advice and decided to um, have people talk out their problems and I could be like, mm, yeah, it's a very interesting kind of thing, and why not do this or that? You know what I mean? Wait, you actually did? Oh, yes, Dennis. In matter of fact, I did it with Ferdinand uh, after we talked about that yesterday. And look, he's getting along so well with them now. Who exactly? Help! I'll teach you to shoot my kids! God, Fernand, shoot his fucking bollocks off! Well then, do you have any suggestions on what I could do about the situation? Because I keep ha I just had this random nightmare with Rosie trying to kill me or something, but... Do you have any ideas what I should do? Well, even though I'm not part of the conversation, and uh, might me not being a bit nosy, but, uh... Can it be something that doesn't involve shooting anyone? What do you mean? Well, do you not see that redneck with his shotgun? Hmm, yes, I'll take your word for it. But anyways, like Hank and that truck said, don't do violence or whatever, or get your gun out, and talk it out. And that's about it, really. Okay, that sounded really painful. I think I should give those three some more psychiatry lessons. Well, be kind of honest, um, who gave them the gun? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go and confiscate their gun. So, do you want me to just talk it out with her? Yes, that's the spirit. Now then, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go and leave. Well, it's now or never. All right, let's go and find it. Okay.
<laughs> Who's laughing now? I can fit into my own house. Da, 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 da. What the fuck is this song I'm making up? Oh. Why is there a fence in the middle of the goddamn line? I, I don't get it, but... Uh... Uh, my non-existent head. Well, at least you finally woke up. Get off! Well, I would love to, but despite the fact that we're trained with faces, that somehow in this scene we are restricted to the laws of physics of jumping around like chuggings in characters in season 22 onwards. Ah, oh, crap, him too! I'll say. Yeet! There's no time to say yeet in a time like this! But the biggest mystery of all, why we're all back in our home, in this position, and who's responsible for this? That would be me! Wait a minute, Rosie, is that you? Yep, believe it baby, it's me! A fort Dennis shot you, like, filled you with holes and, uh, uh, uh whatchamacallit, and still in the workshop and- Oh yeah! About that, I got better and, uh, yeah, I just went a bit cuckoo crazy and now I'm going to kill Dennis. Oh, no. So then, Dennis, are you sure you're ready? Sure, I'm ready. Oh, no. Well, fuck. Eee! Dennis, Hank, run, save yourself. Don't mind me, I'm way ahead of you! Ow! Stupid fucking pole. Hey, it could've been worse. It could've been, uh, the leg of your bed, but the worst thing is, imagine it shaped like an X, made of metal, and your bare foot, and the small side of your foot gets caught in it. Oh, that's disgusting. Disgusting! Hey, never mind about that, Dennis! We have some unfinished business! Rosie, I did I didn't want to shoot you. It was it was Diesel Tenster. He asked us to do this and we were following orders and we didn't want to kill you under It's time to die! Look! Up in the sky! It's a bird! It's a plane. No, it's not. It's orange. It's Gears the Hedgehog. Who? I don't know. Ah! Oh, fuck it up. Say, what did I tell you? The series doesn't need an episode with me in it to hold its fucking hand. Oh, fucking hell, Billy. You saved me. Really? Rosie had a gun. Rosie? Ah, shit, we're in trouble now. Is it fucking obvious? I don't think so. Look, she's unconscious. Alright, fellas, this is our chance to escape. No, fellas, I got a better idea. What's that, Ferdinand? I don't know. I was thinking of blowing your brains out. We're not blowing anyone's brains out. I want to get to the bottom of this, put some common sense into it, and ba boom ba bing. All right. Any second now, Dennis. She'll come around, and we can sort all this out. Yeah, I mean, eh. So she knocked you all out unconscious and tried to kill you all. Correct. Hmm. Do you know what I found a bigger plot hole? Thomas Edward. Henry, Toby, Salty didn't want to kill us. I forgot Sally was in this series. Yes, I may. Oh well, at least Henry's fully neutralized with us. Thomas is somewhere. Edward has done a thing. Miserable prick. And uh, 
Toby's having his own episode. Well, I see she's coming around. Well, Dennis, it's time for us to tell the truth. Right. Hello, Rosie. When I get off this out, what the? My wheels are stuck. I took the honor of using Gorilla Glue and gluing her wheels to the truck. Useless. Oh, fine then. I should have stayed on the Godred Spell series as a secondary character. Never mind about that. I know you want to kill me. And possibly my friends too, but let me explain everything. The reason I, because I will say we, we were all forced to follow Diesel 10's orders to uh, kill a handful of specific engines. I, I don't know why, it's like he has a grudge against them and now he's just swooping it all under the rug. Yeah, it's a bit strange, isn't it? And uh, I was given the task out of all of us to shoot you. And, surprisingly, you look like you haven't injured yourself, so who knows, I could have missed. So yeah, we were given the task of killing those engines, because I don't know why, I just, to this day we still don't know why, but you were the unfortunate soul on it. And all we can say is, we are incredibly sorry. And that also kind of implies to everyone that was involved. We are truly sorry. We ever forgive us? What do you mean? We weren't here during that time. What do you mean? It could have been worse for you three, being it, being murdered for something you didn't do wrong. Actually, that's kind of right. So what do you say? Apology accepted. Ah, great. Now all this is behind us. Allow me to be the honour of giving you some new wheels, because obviously Mr. Stupid decide to uh, gorilla glue her wheels to the trucks. Oh great! This is- I- even though oh, I thought maybe, just maybe, the series can go without an episode of me holding its fucking hand, but by the looks of things, how about I leave a bit more? I mean, heck, I mean, I don't mind sticking in the background of Goddard's filler series. Hey, it could have been worse. You could have been Needful Joint's fucking punching bag. Well, it's not my fault, all right? Straw Billy, you... Fuck, shut up, phone. Shut the fuck up. I fuck it up. Still, all that is fucking behind us. Well, it fucking bugs me. As a matter of fact, fuck this generation. Like you said, fuck this generation. And to be kind of honest, I don't know. I really don't know. If I lost me, I'll be in the basement. What are you doing in the basement? Dying! So, Dennis, how do you feel now, after sawing all that with Rosie? Well, it's water under a bridge now. Just like Tanamongu. Tanamongeese! <laughs> Remember when she was relevant, calling out fucking iDubs for saying the n-word, yet she says it herself? Personally, at this point, I don't see the word offensive anymore. I mean, there'll be some that get offended by it, while there'll be some just treating it as, like you said, water under a bridge. I mean, it lost mm -hmm. all meaning. It's like calling someone a twat. Mm -hmm. Or a cunt. Or a fuckface. Shut up, phone. You wretched piece of shit. Mm -hmm. I swear to crap, I'm, I'm gonna get the hammer on that fucking thing. I talked to him and he's refusing to come out. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna sort this phone out real quick if you don't mind me. So, what now? <sighs> it's that one time with Neville all over again. I mean, Billy's starting to lose it. Well, to be kind of honest, we're all slowly losing it. We're kind of losing the plot. None of us don't want to be here anymore. I mean, fuck me, right? Yep. It's 
good thing we kept each other company when we were in that shed together. Wait a minute. Are you two secretly fucking behind Billy's back? Don't be so fucking stupid. Only a dumb fucker would think that Billy was banging Molly for God's sakes. Fucking excuse me? Right, basically, Neville, you know that one time that, uh... That, uh, whatchamacallit, when, you, when me, Molly, and Billy went to Fneedville see if they won us, we kind of came a little bit of a hindrance and, uh... They said that you were... They thought that, um... Billy was banging her. And then it just turns out two austerities had their ways with her before. <sighs> Who the fuck are these two called? One of them was called William and the other one's called Clace. What, is one of them a furry? Yuck! Well, William sounds a bit more fucking posh. I mean, if you would look at Clace Warrior 16, oh wait, they're the same engine. They're all the same. Oh, they, they all look the same to me because they're all red or orange. Fucking hell, you can't tell the difference between their name or colour. Fucking hell, at least you could tell the difference between all those black grunks, even if their names were half-assed. Okay then. The next time I see that Clace or William, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking, I don't know, I'm fucking... No wait, I think they must have mistook me to my sister, which I've never mentioned! Wait, you have a sister? Yeah, her name was Monica, or something, I don't know, named after one of those shitty characters from that shitty anime game! I think it was Doki Doki Panic or Doki Doki Anime fucking trash! Oh! Doki Doki Literature Club is fucking crap! Hey, you stirred! Fuck off. Well, we got ourselves into another good situation. I'm kind of worried for the future now. Aren't we all? Well, I will say this though. I haven't seen Clace or William around when I went there. But I do remember there was a white austerity called um, Angel, I believe. Angel. 13 free runner! Yeah, blah blah blah. Uh, yeah, but I'm. She's she just fucking poof, vanished, disappeared, thin of dust. Just like us. Well, whatever's gonna happen to us, we're all just gonna have to keep our hopes up, because I can tell we'll be out sooner or later.